it is. It's like a key. Hear that? Well, as long as it's not too too far off from middle. It does have a little wobble, but. Way better than before. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Today uh, we're going to be fixing our trolling motor. It's only been like seven months and we've already banged it up get some rocks pretty bad so the trolling motors are making all types of weird sounds so the it vibrates a lot the skeg's in the wrong position and then also the ultrasonic cone is off to the right show you what i got just look at that right there see how the shaft comes in and it's crooked and this is crooked also and the prop is pretty banged up as you can see so basically when I'm on speed four or five or higher, the trolling motor vibrates pretty bad. So I might even have a bench shaft. I don't, I don't know. So uh, we'll see. We'll show you guys how to take it apart. From the YouTube videos I've watched, it shouldn't be too bad. So we'll see. That's my helper, Mr. Juan. He helped break the trolling motor, so he'll gonna help me uh, fix it. So as you can see, it's pretty bad. I mean... I am huh? not very sure, so go to where you can hit it. Nope, regular thread. Regular thread? Okay, there's also a washer inside. What size is that? 13? 14. 14. At least it kept the metric. So I know we did this last time, but we got stuck right here because we need to hit it with a hammer. Separate. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Okay, and then on top of that, this thing won't come off. Okay, so I need to see if this is even straight. I mean, it looks straight, right? Yeah, it's just straight on there pretty tight. No, I'm talking about I'm talking about the shaft. Think the shaft is straight? I hope the shaft is straight because the shaft's not straight. We got a oh. problem. Pry tool. Back with the hammer. Hey, strong. Hey. Let's see. There it is. It's like a key. You see that? Yeah, that's probably a good picture. See how this one, the pin's supposed to go this way, but we've broken two walls. That's why. And now the pin's is, the pin's is kind of wobbling in here. That's why I do when I come out. If you look at the new one, see how it's like well defined like that. Like this pin's supposed to just sit just like this, just like that. Or the other one. Use one. If one time it sat like that, but it already it, it broke through that wall, and now it's sitting this way. So that hopefully that's the reason why this thing is wobbling real bad. And then there's these two number eights right here. The number eights. Once you turn those number eights. You can uh, adjust everything, that's what they say. That's what the YouTube says. Hit these 8 millimeter. If you don't lose it all, just make it loose. Don't have to pull it all around. Yeah. Whoa. Mm -hmm. See, it's already moving on this side? Mm -hmm. This one can move too. See? Nice. That's so simple. Mm -hmm. So basically, once you, once you, this, these two bolts go all the way through and fold onto the nose cone. So that's why when you loosen those two bolts, you can move this piece and you can move this gang. Right? So what you want to do is put it as close as you can on this. But some people be telling me that, like, the motor needs to, like, when you put it on, like, speed 3 or something, when you turn this skeg, you'll, you'll hear the engine go, like, up in RPM and lower in RPM. So you want to find the sweet spot, the highest RPM that like, you can get. So that way, uh, like, it basically it means is. that all the bushings and everything are aligned properly, if it is. Mm. Yeah, so that's probably why our, ours isn't, like, acting right. So we're going to do that, too. But for the most part, we're just going to hold it as straight as we can first. Because as you can see, whoo, this MSI unit took a beating. 
Alright, so part of the tuning, we're going to tune the trolling motor while we're at it too, so the skeg is, doesn't matter exactly where it goes, the ultrasonic has to be straight, but the skeg part could be off a little bit, so that's what, we're, that's what our plan is. Uh, we got it facing down now, and as you can see, this skeg is way off, it needs to be fixed, but we got the uh, trolling motor powered up, powered on, and we got it on speed, like say speed 5. And then I think if you press north, it's just gonna go forward or this one, it just goes forward. Yeah. So that's the old tracks. Green light is on. Green light is on. And just quick demonstration, you can hear it. I hope you guys can hear it. As you turn it, see how it got see how the RPMs got faster? Right there? And even faster over there. So you want the fastest RPM you can get. Hear that? Well, not really. You still have to be skipping down. Well, as long as it's not too, too far off from middle, it should be pretty good. Because we were, we were way off. We were back to the point where it's almost straight. You know? You can't turn it, right? Huh? No, no tighten it to the point where, like, you can still barely, you have to put some pressure on it to turn it. You might have to do it by hand because you're Mr. You're too uh, you're too cool with that uh, adjustable wrench. Yeah, yeah, like that, right? So it's barely like you can still force it, but that's hella crooked up top. You know, you should fix that one first. Make sure that's straight. Looks straight to me. I got quick at it. Look at that way off from the top, bro. You can see this side and not see that side. Dude, that's thing is wider, bro. In the front. No. Trust me. Are you sure? You go. I think that's true. Why don't we just put a level on the box? Because <sighs> we don't have a level. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to go find a level. Nice. All right. Found ourselves in. <laughs> now, I think the boat is fairly level, but we're just going to do our best. Is it decent? No. Nope. Way off. Because it has to be level. We think about it. the boat is in the water, and then the sonar should go right down, right? Chop. That's good. Let's mark this. Huh? You have a screw. You can put a scratch on it, or you can just tape it. Yes, so it don't move. But if you line these tape up, it should be where it's supposed it's to be. It's supposed to be just perfect. Just tape the rest <laughs> up. Hey, this is not a professional shop. Don't laugh at us. Because you know you're going to do it too. It's just our alignment tool. That's our alignment okay. tool. That's the best we can get. Right, turn okay. it back. Turn it back the other way. All right. So I'm going to go press the button again. And we're going to listen for the sweet spot. Okay. Push the button. That sounds way better. I don't want it. I'd rather have it quiet, right? Dude, that sounds like you're grinding all the time. I think it has to be there. That's straight up and down, right? You don't have to be straight up and down. You can be like a little bit off. What? Yeah, that's just a skin. You can be a little bit off. As long as it's at the most powerful, the quietest, it's probably the best one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. That's okay. That's a little. It's a little bit to the left, but that sounds like that's gonna be the best one, the best spot. So just gonna tighten it back down. Let's call it good. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. We're gonna reinstall everything. So get in. Can I turn it so it's level so it won't fall out? Yeah. That left and right. Left and that right. That is the trick. Left and right action. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> Grab this brand new one that is scratch free so we can take it to the lake and scratch it all up again. 
I feel like we need to buy us a bear and put it in the boat. Boom! Alright, alright, alright. That's it. Put that washer on like that. Take your nut. Finger started. Always finger started. Maybe we should get that eliminator prop thing. Yeah, dude, we should. Yeah. And then impact it. Impact to your liking. <laughs> I don't know what the torque spec is, but it's part of torque spec. But every tech knows there is an impact spec. There's an impact spec. Hold the prop. No, no, it won't deploy, that's right, because it's in the folded position. It's not like old school trolling motor where you can just press a button and it goes. These new ones, they have mine of his own. Yeah. We're gonna help it out. We gotta help it out. Okay? Alright. Ready? Yeah? Uh, it's still got a little rattle, but it's a lot better than before. Yo, put it on like, put it on speed 10. Put on full max. Alright, put on speed 10. Go. Oh, it's way better than before. Go again. Yeah, it's way better than before. I mean, before it was rattled, like the whole boat rattled. Yeah. yeah. Think it's good? Fucking transistor looks like cricket. That's what I told you. That's why I put a level on it. Maybe have a little wobble, but way better than before. I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about it. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you uh, change a prop. That's how you tune a motor. That's how you adjust the ultrasonic sonar. And that's how you fix the skeg. That's basically everything you need to know. That's basically everything you need to know about how to service a trolling motor without replacing any parts. All right. You need a last minute, like, regrets or... Words of wisdom for the YouTube people. I'm taking a nap. <laughs> That's right. This is some hard, hard work right here. So don't do it three times like we did. Don't do it three Watch times. Watch it and then do it one time. Watch the full video. Just do it one time. <laughs> you know, it's a quick five-minute job, but it turned into like thirty minutes. All right, guys. We will see you on the next one. Hopefully, that helps you guys. I mean, this is one of the reasons why YouTube grew from nothing to something way before people started paying money for videos so these DIY little projects man they are uh, the reason why we started the channel just kind of help the community out so this was this is gonna be our first and last DIY for 2021 and uh hope hope that saves you a couple hundred bucks too because if you took this to the shop it's probably gonna be what did you say 80 bucks hey. the props are already 50 bucks so and you gotta wait in line yeah so probably save you a hundred bucks if you do yourself. All right. See you next one, guys. Peace. All right.